district center, which is Cherry Valley, Middlefield, and Roseville. And I, of course, as well, not from screaming for the Giants, but from the cold that's going around, so please forgive me. Um, I moved back to upstate in 2002, and I was born and raised in Syracuse, where my family had a small manufacturing business. And I went to California in the 70s, but came back in 2002 for the natural beauty and the resources that are here. I have to say that every year since I've come back, I hear jobs, I hear jobs, jobs, jobs. And I think also in combination with having gone to the chamber meeting um, a couple weeks ago that when someone says jobs, we all have a different idea and a thought bubble above our head. Um, when I hear jobs, I think mo mostly white collar, um, probably high tech, business management. But people who hear jobs think and hear something differently. When I was campaigning and I was going and knocking on doors, there was a retired county highway worker. And, and he looked at me and he said, what are you going to do about jobs for the guy who's just graduated from high school who doesn't plan to go to college? And I kind of looked at him with that deer in the headlight look because honestly I had no clue. It, it hadn't really dawned on me that there is a group of people who also need employment that will not go to college. And so it got me thinking about jobs in general, economic development, which brought me further along the path of what do we all want for this area. We know we have great natural resources. and. I think that Oneonta, in many ways, is like Syracuse, where I grew up. Our family business closed a couple years ago. We did heating and air conditioning and sheet metal because manufacturing was just, you know, it's not happening much here anymore. So what's next? That's my big thought is what's next? What will bring the kind of economic development and opportunities that we think are the right fit for the area? And, you know, it's something that I really like to talk about a lot. We have a great educational base, we all know that. We've got our schools, and we know that once people graduate, they're going somewhere else. So I start thinking, well, where are they going, and why are they going, and why are these other areas attracting them when we can't? I think it's a question we need to talk about and examine and hopefully come up with some solutions. Thank you.